Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to Bedtime Stories. I hope you're all feeling relaxed and you're in your pyjamas. Have you brushed your teeth? Are we ready? How are we all doing today? I hope you're all very well. Let's get ready for our story time. I have chosen a really interesting book for you today. Some of you might know it. It's a very popular book. It's called Detective Adventure. And one of my favorite characters in here, are in here, Kipper and Chip and Biff. Yes, you may know this story. It's very popular and it's been out for so long. Everybody knows Chip, Biff and Kipper, but if you don't, it's okay. You can learn about them today. Oh, my book's being a bit fidgety. I hope you're not being fidgety. <laughs> Let's get started. Two left feet. Mum gets a surprise when Dad learns to dance. It's that time of year again, said Mum. She turned on the television. Oh no, it's not that dance show again moaned Kipper. The children sat with Mum and Dad. It's funny, said Mum. You always moan and groan. Then you enjoy the show as much as we do. Dad liked the show. It was a contest for people who had never danced before. They had to learn how. Later, Biff saw Dad in the kitchen. He was pretending to dance with the mop. Dad, said Biff, you are funny. Well, I wish I was good at dancing, but I have two left feet, said Dad. What do you mean, asked Biff. Ask Mum, said Dad. In town, Biff saw a poster. It was about a dance competition. Why don't you and Dad go on it? Go for it, she asked. Mum laughed and said, Have you seen Dad dance? He has two left feet. What do you mean? asked Biff. He's a hopeless dancer, said Mum. Oh dear, do you think they're going to go to the competition? Let's find out. My book's being a bit wobbly today. <laughs> oh, okay. Biff and Chip spoke to Gran. Biff showed her a leaflet about the dance competition. Dad says he wants to dance, but he has two left feet, said Chip. Maybe you can teach him, Gran said Biff. You're a good dancer. So she's asking her gran to teach her dad to dance. She wants her mum and dad to go to the dance competition. What do you think will happen? Every Monday morning, mum went out. As soon as she had left, gran came to the house. Biff and Chip cleared the space in the kitchen. What's going on, said Dad. Let's go dancing, said Gran. What do you think? Do you think Dad can learn from Gran how to dance? Let's find out. Dad and Gran began to dance. Poor Dad, said Chip. I see why Mum says he has two left feet. I'm sorry about your toe, Gran, said Dad. I'll never learn to dance. Rubbish, said Gran. We just need to work hard, that's all. Mm -hmm. 
Dad practised his steps, but he only did it when Mum was out. He's getting better, said Chip. Soon Dad learned the steps. He began to enjoy Gran's lessons. It's time to enter, Dad. It's time to enter Dad and Mum in the dancing competition, said Chip. Do you think the dads learn how to dance? Oh, let's see, he's trying his best. The children had a surprise for mum. Chip had cut off a big foot out of a cardboard. What on earth is this? asked mum. One of dad's left feet, said Kipper. Dad whirled mum around the kitchen. Let's go dancing, he said. Goodness me, gasped Mum. Dad can dance after all. That's so nice. Dad's learnt how to dance now. Let's see if they go to the competition. Mum and Dad wanted to win the competition. They had dancing lessons to make themselves even better. We need to work hard, said Mum. Mum and Dad were ready for the competition. Wow, said Kipper, you look really good in that. Gran and the children were so excited when Dad and Mum danced in the competition. Then Dad bumped into a chair. Oh no, said Chip, I hope Dad hasn't got his two left feet back. Go on, Dad, called Biff. You can win. I'm sure you can. Dad and Mum were soon dancing. They were dancing well again. They looked great, said Kipper. I do hope they win. It was time for the judge to call out the winners of the competition. Kipper held his breath. Biff crossed her fingers. They were both very nervous, weren't they? Shall we find out? Did Mum and Dad win the competition? Let's see. Mum and Dad came in third in the competition. They won a little goblet made of crystal. It was worth a sore toe, said Gran. That's amazing. So, Mum and Dad came third place. Why do you think the expression, two feet means to someone? What do you think that expression means? Two left feet. Well, it's an expression used to say that somebody can't dance or they're not very good at dancing. How does Dad's dancing improve? Can anyone tell me? How do you think Dad's dancing improved? Very good. So Gran came over, didn't she? And she decided to give Dad some lessons, although he did step on Gran's toe and made it quite sore. But he got there in the end. Here's another question for you. Why does Gran say it was worth a sore toe? Can anybody tell me? Why does Gran say it was worth a sore toe? Because she believed that if Dad kept trying and was practising and worked really hard, he could finally do it. And he did. He managed to learn all the steps. What did you enjoy now that you weren't very good at to begin with? that you wasn't good at to begin with. So have you ever tried something and you wasn't very good at it to start off with? And maybe you tried and really tried and you got there in the end. Have a think about it. Maybe there's something that you've started to do and you think that you can't do it. Don't give up, keep trying. Let's carry on with the book. <clears throat> May morning is the next chapter in our story. Mrs May took the children to a playing field. 
Why are we going outside, Mrs. May? asked Wiff. Wilf? Sorry, not Wiff. <laughs> it's Wilf. There was a tall, pale. There was a tall pole standing in the playful field. It had ribbons hanging down from the top. What is it, Mrs. May? asked Chip. It's a maypole, said Mrs. May. I'm going to teach you the maypole dance. I want you all to stand in a circle, Mrs. May went on. Now take hold of a ribbon, then take four steps backwards. The ribbon spread out in a circle of blue, green, red, yellow colours. The dance is quite easy, but we'll first talk, said Mrs. May. Sounds like an interesting dance. She told them to walk in a circle so the ribbons would round the pole. Now we'll do it with the music, she said. The pole looks great, said Nadine, and all we did was walk round it. In time, we will learn how to weave a pattern, smiled Mrs. May. May Day is a special day, said Mrs. May. Who can tell me why? Can you say why May Day is a special day? Let's find out. It celebrates spring. Spring, said Wilf. And better weather, said Chip. It will be fun to celebrate May Day, said Mrs. May. We are going to have a school fair. Every class is taking part. I think they're celebrating the season, aren't they? The season of May. So, there was a lot to do to prepare for, for May morning. Some children were going to sing a song. The children in Wilma's class painted pictures of birds and flowers to go round the playground wall. Mrs May's class worked hard at the maypole dance. They had to remember the way to skip with the ribbons round the maypole. Two children were chosen to be king and queen of May Day. Her dress is nice, said Biff, but I'm glad I don't have to wear it. At last it was May morning, but it was teeming with rain. The pictures on the playground wall were soaked. The maypole was standing in a pool of water. We can't dance around that, said Chip. Oh dear. It's raining. It's going to rain all day, said Nadine's mum. It's such a shame. We will have to celebrate May morning indoors, said Mrs May. But what about Paul, maypole dance, asked Biff. Cheer up. We can still do it, said Mrs May. Leave it to me. So the weather's not going to change Mrs May from enjoying the day, is it? No. We will do the maple dance in the hall. I'll be the maple, said Mrs May. She held up the top of the pole with the ribbons. The children took their places round Mrs May and began the dance. Everyone clapped as the children began to dance. The ribbon began to weave into a pattern. The music did not stop, so the children went on dancing. The pattern went lower. The ribbons wound round the top of Mrs May's head. Everyone cheered at the end. So Mrs May saved the day, said Mum. That's true, said Nadine's mum. Mum looked for Dad. He was not in the hall. Did you see where Dad went? asked Mum. Dad had gone to the fair. 
and got a big bunch of flowers. Mrs. May, oh, for Mrs. May. Three cheers for Mrs. Maple, said Dad. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Oh, wasn't Mrs. May lovely? She saved the day. The children were so excited, weren't they? But because of the weather, they couldn't do it. They couldn't play outside and do the maple dance. Now, I have a few questions for you about the story we just read about May Day. What happened to the ribbon when the children walked around, around the maple at the beginning? So when they were walking around the pole, the maple, what happened to the ribbon? Can anybody remember? That's right. The colours of the ribbons were swirling round it and creating a pattern. Why was it more difficult when they danced? Can anybody remember that? Why was it difficult when they danced? So, very good. It was difficult because everybody had to move around the same way, in the same direction, and try to create a pattern with the ribbons. Shall I ask you one more question? What did you think would happen when Mrs. May said she'd be the maypole? Can anybody tell me? Well, I thought she was going to be the, the maypole and they would wrap the ribbon around her. <laughs> what did you think? Well, Mrs. Maypole done a fantastic job and she entertained the children and made them happy and that's what it's all about. And with that, I've come to the end of the story for Bedtime Stories today. I hope you're all relaxed and I hope you're all ready in your pyjamas and brushed your teeth and ready to go to bed. So I will see you again soon and thank you for joining me for Bedtime Stories. Have a good night. Assalamu alaikum.